We're going to try today to determine the best recrystallization solvent for acid analyte, and we're going to do that using acid analyte using acetone, ethanol, petroleum, ether, and water. Hopefully, one of them will be the appropriate recrystallization solvent for the uh, acid analyte solid that we want to look at. And we will start off by adding approximately one mil to each of the four test tubes. We'll measure the first one with a graduated cylinder, and then we will add the rest based on an estimate off of the first two. So here's the graduated cylinder. I'll fill it with about one milliliter of water. Then I'll add it to the water test tube. And then once that's done, I will use that as a sort of a measuring stick to add about one milliliter to the other four test tubes. So now I've added one mil approximately to each of the four test tubes. Now I need to measure out my acid analyte. And I'm going to add about 100 milligrams of, e of acid analyte to each of the tubes. Again, it doesn't have to be exact. It's an approximation when we're trying to determine recrystallization solvents. And the amount that I'm going to use is a, of acid analyte is about enough to cover the end of my spatula. So you can see how much I'm going to add right here, right now. So just enough to cover the bottom third or so of the spatula. And I'll add the acid analyte to each of the test tubes. That's the ethanol. Now the petroleum ether. And finally the water. And just a little bit more on that one. So we're going to mix all of these up and look at what happens to them. And I want you to record your observations here. So this is the <coughs> acetone. There's a little bit of the acetone in the bottom, and now I'm swirling it. And I want you to record what you see in terms of is there any left or is there none left in the acetone. Now I'm going to do the same thing for the ethanol. I'm going to shake it around and mix it up and see if it dissolves or not. So you can see there's a little brownish dot in the bottom. That's the acid analyt. Now I'm going to shake it to mix it. And let's see what happens. Does it dissolve? Does it not dissolve? Is there any left? You need to look and observe and record your results. And we'll mix it really, really thoroughly to make sure we're positive we've done all we can to dissolve it. So that's the ethanol. And again, record your results for the ethanol. Next, we're going to look at the petroleum ether. Still shaking this one a little bit more. Petroleum ether. And see it down the bottom, shake it up and observe. Does it dissolve? Is it not dissolving? Write down what you see. Shake it just a little bit more, and just a little bit more, and again, observe, write down your observations. Finally, we're going to do the water. So this is the water tube. Water is actually more dense, so the acid animal is floating on the top right now. So I'll shake it, and you can see it starts to mix as I shake it. And again, we're going to shake this pretty thoroughly, and you're going to want to record your results as to what you see. 
So shaking it, shaking it, shaking it. And that is the one more time to see if it dissolves. And that is the water. So you're going to want to decide what happens for all of these, record your results, and think about which would be the best ones or one one or ones to try further experiments on recrystallizations.